Is your beard hiding skin cancer? Hey, I'm Gina. I'm a registered dental hygienist and a Burst ambassador, and you're watching Burst TV. So June is an amazing month. It is Men's Health Month, and today I'll be talking about something that specifically men grow. It's your beard. And let me tell you, if you can grow a nice beard, it really is something to be proud of. I love a good beard. But today, I'm going to be maybe a bit of a downer about your beard because I think you might want to consider shaving it every once in a while. Hear me out here. So a study done in Switzerland showed that your dog might actually be cleaner than your beard. The study compared bacterial growth on men's beards to that of dog's hair, and it actually found significantly greater amounts of bacteria in the beards than on the dogs. They tested specifically for disease-causing bacteria because we know not all bacteria is bad, and in fact, there are many types of good bacteria that are essential to our well-being, um, but I digress. But really, having good hygienic practices like washing your face and beard every day with a mild cleanser, trimming and brushing to remove loose hair and debris, and just having a good skincare regimen, which we will talk about in just a minute, um, all of these will help mitigate the bad bacteria issue. And speaking of bacteria, there have been other studies done on bearded versus non-bearded people, specifically to find out whether bearded hospital workers shed more bacteria than those without beards. So the theory was that if facial hair harbored more pathogens than facial skin alone, then men with beards might pose a greater risk for the spread of inf infections, especially hospital acquired infections, which of course is always a huge issue. We don't wanna make sick people sicker with infections acquired in the actual hospital. So anyway, to mitigate that is a huge help. But the results of that study were very interesting because the men who had beards actually ended up having less bacterial growth than those who were clean shaven. And the men who shaved regularly were more likely to have higher rates of certain species of bacteria. And they say that this is likely due to the microtrauma that is caused every day by shaving and that could support bacterial growth, that microtrauma. Uh, but let me tell you one reason why you might shave your beard every once in a while. You just don't know what's hiding under there. And dermatologists say it could be skin cancer. If you have a nice thick beard, the potential for skin cancer to go undetected is a real issue. All cancers, including skin cancer, have the highest chance of minimal treatment and a cure when they're detected early. And while you think that a dark bushy beard will protect your skin from the sun, that's actually a myth. The hair might deflect a few rays, but it's not really enough to protect your face. Millions of people are diagnosed with skin cancer in the US every year, and the rate of skin cancer in men is actually higher than in women. So how can you tell if there's something going on under your beard? If there's a lump or a sore that won't go away or might bleed, that's a red flag, especially if it's under your beard. It's so easy to ignore when you don't see it most of the time, but if it's a sore that hasn't healed within two months, then it's time to see a dermatologist. Or it could be a new mole or a dark spot that's changing in size, shape, color. I always think about it as my A, B, C, D, E's for moles. Asymmetry, border, color, diameter, and evolution. Asymmetry, meaning one side of the mole looks different than the other side. Borders, um, as in the borders of the mole being uneven. Color is uneven or different colors within the mole. Diameter or size of the mole is larger than a pencil eraser. And evolution, meaning any of these looking a certain way and then changing over time. You should definitely see a doctor in those instances. The other area to check is your scalp as well and maybe have a partner help you and check the areas that are harder to see. So what's the easiest thing you can do to prevent skin cancer? Well, you know how I was talking about our skincare routine earlier. Well, guess what? It's not just for the ladies. Recent research has found that less than one in five men report using sunscreen on their face every day. It's 
such a small thing to do to add to your daily routine. And let me tell you, it's so much easier than having to get surgery to remove skin cancer. Just do it when you get out of the shower or after you brush your teeth in the morning. A moisturizer with at least SPF 15 is great for day-to-day -day use or SPF 30 if you're spending a longer time outside. I personally love products with zinc in them because you need to use a lot less, they last longer, and they cause a lot less irritation, especially if you happen to be outside exercising and sweating. Don't forget to also put it on your forehead, your ears, any bald spots if you have them, back of your neck, and of course, wearing protective clothing is super helpful, like a hat or a collar, because then you don't have to remember to reapply if you're outside all day. So I hope you go forth and grow an amazing beard after watching this, but please, please, please make sure you take good care of the skin underneath it as well. And if you learned something new today, questions, comments, or any other requests for more videos, let us know in the comments below. Tune in next week. Nancy will be talking all about common oral conditions that men might have. Thank you so, so much for watching Burst TV. We come out with new videos every week, so you know where to find us. Hit the like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss the next one.